We have, we have three agendas that we could advance that could get us out of the stalemate that has plagued us for the last 20 years. Instead of focusing on welfare and security, we need to focus on mobility. Most people in the United States aspire to improve their circumstances, not only individually themselves, but certainly their children, to the extent that we have about 10 million, at least, people who come to the United States illegally to participate in that experience. We need to find ways of accelerating their upward mobility, and we can do that through things such as individual development accounts. A second platform is empowerment. By implication, that means choice. It cuts both ways. If liberals want to insist on reproductive choice for women with regard to uh, their sexual intimate behavior, uh, they should be consistent and listen to conservatives when they advocate choice for allowing their kids to attend private schools. Choice is something that the vast majority of middle-class Americans take for granted. If they don't like the public school to which their ch child will be assigned, they relocate. I think it's consistent to allow low-income Americans choice. And a final issue, final platform, is restructuring. Why do we continue these massive educational, correctional, welfare bureaucracies when we could flatten them? We could reduce large numbers of people who are employed in unproductive uh, paper shuffling work. We could reassign them to more productive activities. And we could provide taxpayers with a better investment in terms of the money that they contribute to the treasury. These, these are not off the wall ideas. We can do it in the corporate sector, we can do it in government.